Hi there guys and welcome to a new episode. Today we started something new. Game basics for all of you guys who are preparing to build a new game. Whether you're a beginner, you're an expert, already have a few games uh, behind your back. Whether you're a studio or even a publisher, you're going to benefit from this a lot. These are some game industry insights that are going to help you if you are looking to increase revenue in your game, if you're looking to build a games that can um, have more players, that you can be engaged with with uh, uh, your target group. This is, this is going to be really amazing. I'm really excited about what we are doing here and uh, all, all this data and information that we have to share with you. So I invite you all to step back for a moment and take a look at the industry overall so we can have a better understanding where are things headed. <clears throat> I'm going to start with uh, uh, market where it was before and where it's going now so we have uh, some contest when we are talking about some specific in the game industry. <clears throat> Let's go back to 2012 uh, when the consoles had 40% uh, of the market, uh, PC accounted for 37% of the market and mobile 18% of the market, making the total industry around 70 billion US dollars. Now, let's go flash forward five years after that and see that in 2017, things have changed. Both PC have 27 and consoles have 27% of the market and the mobile has taken 46% of the market. This is a very important thing for you all to know that the majority of the, the, the revenue is coming now from the mobile side. Now, it's not that people who are playing consoles and PC are moving to the mobile, no, that, that's not what's happening. Those industries, both console and PC, are still growing at smaller rate, but the mobile is growing around 27% uh, uh, rate. That's huge. That means the, the, the mobile is a blue ocean. Uh, uh, it's very clear why it's growing. Because uh, the, the mobile phones have become so affordable. Everybody has them all the time, whether you're traveling, going to work, whatever you're doing, you have the mobile phone with you and you can play at your convenience and you can purchase from your phone. It's really incredible. It's so clear that all the companies who made that back in 2012 are now cashing in on their uh, games. <clears throat> and this market is here to stay because now in 2017, the, the industry was $120 billion. And in 2018, it's even more. If you take a look at the data for 2018, you can see the industry almost doubled. That's just six years. You know what, what double, how much time it takes for some industry to double? It takes a lot of time. If this was a company, everybody would be throwing money at them, let alone an industry has doubled in six years. And you know what? It's going to even keep growing more and faster. Even faster, the, the, the growth is expected to be even faster in coming years. That means in the next 5-10 years, the most revenue is going to come from the mobile side in the game industry. If you have already uh, developed games for uh, consoles or PCs, you're not so much impacted by this. Your revenue is going to stay same. You're going to have uh, more problems raising money for those new games. Why? Because that is becoming a flat market. The players, the, 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 the companies who are working there are operating are already known. They already have their own market share. They already figure out all the ways to reach users and everything. So there are not so many... Um, the innovation is going to be happening on the mobile side more than it's going to be happening on the traditional ways to play games. And uh, that's majority of the reasons why investors and everybody investing in games are turning around to the mobile side because they see higher growth and potential to earn more uh, returns. And uh, that's how investors work. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you uh, additionally something very interesting, and uh, that is that in 2018, something happened uh, and uh, mobile phones have surpassed 51% of the uh, internet traffic globally. Now I'm talking about globally because in some countries this happened even before, like Asian countries, China especially, like the mobile phones globally took over more than 50% of the uh, traffic. Both Apple and Google immediately changed their policies and the way they work and now they're uh, uh, do not allow any more organic downloads in their stores. What does this mean for the industry? This means that 
if you remember when you publish some of your games you could get some amount of organic downloads that means people will be searching and your app will be showed like uh, uh, suggested app recommended app or similar apps right you know you remember those things in the app store where now all those inventories are actually paid ads that's that are ads for some other games and um, they're not gonna be giving this inventory anymore for free so um, the very simply there are no more organic downloads you have to pay to play and uh, that's why there are some new solutions coming up that are going to be there to help you uh, get some free users again but I want to uh, shift focus and go to talk about where is the revenue now coming we understand that the revenue is on mobile side and um, we understand it's going but let's let's be specific and see uh, where is the revenue globally coming from if you take a look at this next picture that I have here you will immediately see that uh, Asia Pacific uh, is around 52 percent of the market that's huge guys that means that most people playing games will be coming from Asia not from US or Europe or, or things like that um, and if you, if you pay attention China has around 40 billion US dollars uh, uh, game revenue that is around 28 percent global market coming just from one country China um, and you can see that uh, uh, their growth year over year is around 17 percent so I suggest if you're building a game you should definitely participate in that market the next important thing is we have North America where US and Canada that accounts for around 33 billion dollars and it's growing 10 percent we have Europe that's uh, okay we have Europe together with Middle East and Africa that's also around 29 billion dollars very similar to US and Canada and uh, they're growing around 9 percent and we have uh, South America that's around 5 billion dollars and they're growing around 14 percent something like that right so um, from this it should be very clear to you that uh, where you should participate in which markets but more importantly it should be very clear to you for which kind of uh, place you want to build game it's very easy to say let's build global games but most of the, of the games that are popular in one region are not popular in the other so when you're designing game if you want to be diverse and be and go everywhere you need to take a lot of inputs nowadays to understand how it's going to be played uh, in different markets and user onboarding and, and how users understand uh, everything from starting to to reaching the aha moment in the game when they understand the gameplay and everything is going to be very very important when you are designing the game now i'm going to give you another uh, uh, insight uh, for this is if you take a look at the um, us particularly you will see that us is lagging behind the global market that means um, the, the console games are there still on 49 percent something like that right and you can see the majority of players are using um, to play uh, console games and the, that's that's where the growth is they're, they're growing around 4.4 percent according to this uh, report and uh, that's that's just one market US market so if you're going to that market you need to know that um, having maybe previously uh, some company that released a game for console or for um, uh, for PC maybe partner with, partnering with them to make a game for the mobile would be a great idea if you're a, a, a mobile studio that's making game you find some company that already have game in US you say hey let's do a partnership we're gonna use your IP we're gonna develop the game we're gonna uh, find ways to to sell our game together and uh, we could um, generating some revenue and we have some users already waiting for expecting our games things like that those things are possible today because the industry is going in all directions <coughs> I want to I wanna give you another quick insight it is about Japanese market the Japanese market is growing 15% year over year and Japanese uh, player spends two times more than US player Japanese uh, a player spends three times more than European player so um, if you are able to make a game that's suitable for uh, a Japanese market that the uh, Japanese users will uh, like it uh, you're potentially setting up yourself for the highest paid market in the world at this moment even though that uh, Japan market is considered to be the third behind China and US 
Uh, I have so many interesting things I want to talk to you guys, but this was the first episode about some very basic stuff. I want to see you in the next episode when we're going to talk about more specific things, like how to start connecting yourself to the business part of uh, game industry. See you guys!